Richard James, if there is one scene that every Jerry Anderson fan knows, I mean yeah. everyone, it is probably the thrilling climax of Trapped in the Sky, which is the very first episode of Thunderbirds, as you uh-huh. know. Yeah, yeah. In case somehow you have missed this iconic sequence, let me briefly describe it to you. The Fire Flash, which is a, an experimental massive passenger plane, uh, its landing gear disabled by the Hood's explosive device, must execute an emergency landing using International Rescue's elevator car system deployed by Virgil Tracy from Thunderbird 2. Cool. Uh, now, if you are not familiar with the conclusion of this episode, then perhaps you should pause the podcast now, head off and watch <laughs> Trapped in the Sky, and then return, because this fat back could be considered to be a spoiler. Right. Yeah, yeah, because we're not going to wait, so put us on pause. We're yeah, not going to so sit here pause and Pause and we'll assume you pause yeah. now, and now you've watched it. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, now you're back. Yeah, uh, wasn't it good? Now, are you ready for the spoiler in case you haven't bothered to watch Trapped in the Sky? Here it comes. <clears throat> International Rescue Save the Day. Would you believe that? <laughs> Get Isn't away. That, um, incredible, incredible. You, yeah. you heard it here first. <laughs> However, it was only just that they managed to save the day. In the process, as you will probably know, they did crash two of the elevator cars. Right. The first, Car 3, experiences radio control failure and careers into a parked aircraft, leading to a traditional spectacular fireball. Just the way we like them. Of course, every vehicle is packed with 40,000 tonnes of TNT. (laughs) Uh, The second was the master control car, manned by Virgil, which fails under the strain of applying maximum brakes... But did you know that one of these accidents was, in fact, a real-life accident on the special effects stage? Really? In, but yes, really, that's why I've said cool. that. Uh, oh. In an often-repeated story, Dad and Derek Meddings both told of how the crash wasn't planned, but was, in fact, the result of a guiding string failing or a bump on the rolling road mechanism, depending on who's telling the story. The resulting footage looks so good... The additional material was scripted and filmed to incorporate the effect into the story. Ah. What isn't often repeated, but is often taken for granted, is which elevator car was crashed by accident and which effect was planned. Oh, right. Reports from those who were actually on set vary from person to person. And time has a way, as you know, Richard, of obscuring memories of such specific details. Who are you again? See, happens all the time. Now, at the time we're recording this fan fact, there is no documentation, as far as we know, that was available to prove which car it was. But the most prevalent theory is that it was car three, since the model airplane being blown up could be a later addition. However, the master control car, or car one, weaves in a really erratic pattern that, to my eye, certainly more closely resembles an actual accident. Right. But which one was it? We don't know. Mm. Do you, listeners, have any definitive evidence of which elevator car was the accidental crashing one? (laughs) Do you have a theory about which one crashed? Let us know. Email us evidence and theories to podcast at jerryanderson.co.uk because we would love to know your thoughts. Now, I'm sure somebody will say, oh, it's definitely car three, mate. I know because uh, I heard Derek Mennings tell the story. Well, you hear somebody else tell the story and they would have said it's car one. I think... If you watch it when Virgil's control car tips out from under the nose and bounces around, that is not an intentional crash, I don't think. Oh. It just it looks like a happy accident to me. And that's really? that's where I lay my hat in the ring, okay. if that's a phrase. All right. Mm-hmm. So they go, what do you think, Richard James? Do you have any well, theories? That's, I- I must go and watch it before I pass any sort of judgment at all. (laughs) I'm familiar with the sequence, but I haven't really watched it with that sort of eye for the detail, I must say. 